Since apparently people are actually into TikTok now, we're gonna try TikTok hair hacks. Hello and welcome to the Queendom. I'm Sarah Ingle and today we're trying the TikTok hair hacks because we've been on this mission going through the internet, finding the best and worst hair advice. Some of that's from Troom Troom. Some of that's from Five Minute Crafts. And some of that is from TikTok. And actually the last time we looked at TikTok stuff, it wasn't as bad. But before we were kind of looking at hair care on TikTok, today we're actually gonna try the hair hacks. This makes me nervous because sometimes with really long hair, hair hacks just don't work the same way as they do on shorter hair. So we're gonna see how this goes. So without any further ado, we're gonna pull up the TikTok. Requires only two hair ties, space buns. If I do space buns using nothing but two hair ties, they're gonna stay up for like two seconds. That wasn't even a hair hack, that's just hairstyles. Am I still supposed to try it? Guess so. I guess so. And it's just gonna look stupid. Like, oh, that looks more like a horn. Maybe if I squish it together and move it like this. There! Actually, I made it not so worn. Like, that is not gonna stay up, like, if I start moving. But I did put it up. So just imagine the other one up. Apply Vaseline on your eyelashes every night for healthier, longer lashes. That's not going to, no. In fact, Vaseline has petroleum jelly in it. That's like not, ew, don't do that. If you wanna put something on your lashes, something like a jojoba oil or argan oil or um, even castor oil, still anytime putting anything close to your eyes, be careful. Something like that's gonna work a lot better than Vaseline. Vaseline is kind of you. If you don't, ah, no, I missed it. Yes, you can curl your hair with braids. We'll get to go back and find the one we missed. Straighten to, uh, I'm not fast enough, okay. If you don't have eyebrow gel, a great substitute is Elmer's glue stick. You can just put hairspray on your finger and then tap it down. I mean, you can use Elmer's glue, but I feel like if you, a, a more realistic hack that's already gonna be in your bathroom is the hairspray. Hair hacks, this one actually says hair hacks. So, another hair hack. Okay. Instead of mayonnaise, you can use egg yolks. Put This is not what this video is supposed to be. It's supposed to be me trying things, and not me reacting to things. We will try some, when someone actually gives us something we could try. The egg thing, we have busted this myth. There is actually no scientific evidence whatsoever. If you look at the research that's been done, that egg yolk actually does anything for your hair. People think that it does because it's full of protein and hair is made up of protein, and it might feel nice while it's on it, it doesn't actually do it. Besides make your head a sticky mess. Put Grey Goose in a spray bottle and have a sponge ready. I'm an idiot, I'm sorry. It's not just Grey Goose, it's any vodka. And it's not just lightening any hair, it's how to remove henna from your hair. Henna dye, so anybody that uses henna This is a very confusing hack. It started one way, and then it's like, just kidding, it's not a hack. But if you don't want to have to worry about messing your hair up at all, where there's no creases, then you need to do this. Grab this country, flip your head completely over. Okay, I can do that. Wait, let me see what she's gonna do. Flipping head completely over. We can do that. Let me pull these out for a second. I don't know how much that really even keeps my hair out of my face that much, because it's long. But, okay. I don't know, for me it always feels like it's pulling because I have so much hair, it gets really heavy. I don't know if I would want to sleep like this. 
it almost even gives me a headache just sitting here. But that's a thing. Nope, none of those. No heat. No heat. No heat. Wait, rinse and uh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> You guys, I wanted to test the hair hacks, not bust your hair myths. There's a myth that if you wash your hair in cold water after you wash it in hot water or warm water, that is going to close the cuticle. But I have a whole video on hair science that you guys should check out. And basically, wet hair at all opens the cuticle. Um, heat also opens up the cuticle, but it's not... Cold water isn't gonna close the cuticle because water still opens it. It's just not true. Pony too short? He's not a pony, man. He's a mini horse. There's a big difference. Okay, oh, this is actually a hair hack I've heard of before. You want to make it look like you have a really super long ponytail. Oh, goodness, I need a brush. We're going to put this top ponytail here. And then we do the bottom one also in one. And then your hair is supposed to look long because somehow people are supposed to not notice that your hair is in two ponytails. There, now it looks like my ponytail is extra long. Extra long ponytail. Okay, and I've been seeing the sock curls where you leave it in overnight. I wonder if it's gonna work for her. Right. And I've decided to try it. We tried pieces. this and, and it I'm does work. We tried different types of heatless curls. I don't look ridiculous at all. She looks less ridiculous than I did. Well, we'll see how this turns out and check back in tomorrow for the results. I hate it when TikTok videos do that and they're like, oh, we'll check back tomorrow and, and see how the results are. Is that your trick to try and get us to subscribe? I I think they're saying you're like pulling your eyes up somehow with your hair. Oh, I see. Like if you pull really hard, or maybe that's just my, yeah, if you pull really hard, you guys, I wind up being the myth buster, not the myth tester. The problem is if you're pulling your hair hard enough to, to pull on your face, you're gonna give yourself what's called tension alopecia. That constant tension is likely to make you lose your hair and you're <laughs> gonna wind up with a receding hairline because you're pulling on it constantly. So I'm not gonna try that one because no. What is this? This is a spin pen that I got off of Amazon. It's like she answered me. I don't have one of those. They say that one spin pen is equal to six bobby pins. Really? To use it, you basically tie your hair up like you normally would. So instead of using a bunch of bobby pins to secure it, you basically twist the spin pin into your bun. This is a spin So I guess what we need to do is have a whole spin pin video or weird hair gadgets. I've been wanting to do a weird hair gadget video so if you guys see any weird hair gadgets on Amazon or like some weird places, I know we've done some weird things from Target and weird things from Lush, but like flat out just weird hair gadgets, we can include this. A bandana hack, what's the hack? Don't fold it like that. Twirl it. Oh, we have bandana and she just like, And then we tie it in our hair. Can you tie it in a knot? Can you tie it in a bow? Can you baby Yoda ears? You know what? I think this one work. We need to make sure we give her a heart. Underrated. Underrated. You give us a real hair hack because that actually helped us with the spinning. The spinning, I didn't know that. 
That was quite easy. I don't know if it looks cute. It looks like something. Take your hair and gently scrunch up with your towel. There you go. Or you can use a t-shirt. Do not have to rub your conditioner in. Just run it down. Let it cover your hair. Make sure you get every strand. Yes. If you have to buy box dye to dye your hair, it's not worth it. You are destroying your hair with box dye. Yes! Listen to Casper J. Casper J speaks the truth. Oh, what's this? Is that a... What is that? Okay, I think we can try this with a bandana. Since we've got one. And we got a hair hack on how to do this. Underneath, underneath, underneath the hair. And then I'm gonna go down towards the bottom. And then I'm gonna tie it. Okay, I gotta pull this down. Again, my hair's so layered, this is gonna be tricky. And then we'll pull it up here. And then we'll tie it. And now my hair's gonna look short. Does it look short now? Yeah, now it looks short. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like it's right, right there. Yay! Hey, she curled her hair on random objects like we did. We curled our hair on randomer ones, like a light bulb and, and a lamp. There we go, we got to test some TikTok hair hacks. I didn't get to test as many as I originally planned, but we still got to go through them and talk about which ones are good, which ones are bad, some we already know are good or bad, and then just test some, cause they're fun. Anyways, if you guys have any special hair hacks or ever see any weird hair gadgets you want me to try, please tell me below. If you could have any color of hair naturally growing out of your head, even a color of hair that doesn't naturally grow out of heads, what color hair would you want to have? <laughs> Anyways, if you guys want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe. We put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you want those videos to come right to you, ring the little bell. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh no, is that a split end? No, it's not. It's just two hairs stuck to each other. TikTok hair tax. Tax. <laughs> hair tax. That's a good thing. Eating a good thing in sight. That's right. Meow. I hate pulling these out of my hair. I feel like I'm just like ripping my hair every time I do it. But I'm taking one for the team, you guys, because we got to try the hacks. Um, but anyway, I got to go to the bathroom. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm going to try around what I'm going